Hello and welcome to round 4 of the World Super Deck Series from Norrisring in Germany and this is race 1 of our highlights package provided by Yari Fanari for Touring Pro Series in conjunction with RaceDepartment.com and Jack Keithley was on pole position for the first race with Rasmus Salo alongside him on the front row James Johnson and David Yunt were on row 2 with Tommy Ajala and Florian Strauss on row 3 Jesper Talborg and Chris Butcher were in 7th position and 8th position respectively with Yari Fanari and Tomasz Maciszewski rounding out the top 10 so as they head towards the uh, start finish line waiting for the green flag signal to start the race at the back of the field catch up with the front of the field and it's uh, Keith Lee on the right Salo on the left and the uh, green flag flies and Keith Lee gets a good, good getaway Salo immediately in behind him looking to draft him into turn one and uh, James Johnson's made a good getaway he's uh, on the outside with uh, Strauss as well in there and David Yunt bumping over the curves and Ben Davis very late on the brakes and Thomas De Demelin nearly spins gets into a half spin there on the exit of turn one but everyone makes it through for the first time this season no incidents and uh, Davis going up the inside of Venari and there's Capano way too late on the brakes he gets into the back of Venari and Demelin involved as well and Matuszewski Matuszewski getting away with that one a little bit but Venari huge damage for Venari he's gonna have to pit for that one no rear wing for him not the first time he's been involved not his fault um, in a start line incident and here is Salo and Florian Strauss battling away and Strauss is on the outside into turn one leaves Salo room on the inside so he's uh, got the run on the exit of the corner Zala sniffing around behind them and uh, now Strauss has got the inside as they head towards the right left chicane and he takes the position away from Salo so Strauss up into third position here's Tauborg uh, Junt and Chris Butcher battling away and Junt's on the outside of Chris Butcher trying to go around the outside he looks like he might have the better drive but Butcher has got the inside line for the uh, for the turn one at the end of this long straight and uh, it's going to be about who breaks later who breaks better and who turns in first Butcher at the minute has got the inside but they're side by side as they head into turn one Butcher breaks a little bit later locks up and uh, Junt nearly gets into the back of him Talbog does get into the back of Junt Butcher sweeps around the outside and takes them both once again and uh, retains his position so status quo um, in the middle of the pack here's Ben Davis and Wayne Morgan battling away Morgan in front of Davis this is a battle over 9th and 10th Morgan nearly into the inside wall so Ben Davis seizes the opportunity goes up the inside they rub, rub wheels on the straight a little bit of contact as they head to, down the main straight and into turn one once again they're side by side uh, Ben Davis has got the inside line Wayne Morgan on the outside in fact Ben Davis looks like he's got the uh, the position done but mate Wayne Morgan breaking later he's going going round the outside of Davis Davis looks like he's got this one stuck to be honest and uh, he takes the position away from Wayne Morgan in the end here's Jack Keithley James Johnson Florian Strauss Rasmus Salo Tommy Ajala David Yunt, Jesper Talborg and Ben Davis up the inside of Chris Butcher very late on the brakes nearly goes into the barrier he's gonna have to reverse out of that one and carry on and that's Morton Vernison in the background as well spinning he avoids the barrier and he looks like he's gonna get stuck on the curb but he gets away with that one so it's still Keithley from Johnson Florian Strauss in third Salo and there's Ajala and Ajala into the wall huge damage he's lost his uh, front bumper and perhaps his uh, bonnet as well I didn't quite see what part of the car flew off but certainly a huge chunk of the front end of that um, Audi and he's gonna have to continue with huge damage to that car so here's Demelin and uh, Ilovanov and Ben Davis sweep past both of them both of them um, in fact he sweeps past Dem um, Ilovanov I should say and he's now got a run on Demelin bumpy into uh, the final corner Demelin breaks too late or perhaps lets them through one or the other and uh, Davis takes two positions in two corners but uh, Ilovanov now in behind him looks like he's tr gonna try and draft him into turn one as they go two by two heading towards turn one Davis still at the front of this pack and uh, Demelin there s sniffing around trying to w make his way through Davis once again way too late on the brakes he's gonna have to rejoin here Demelin a little bit wide they contact Davis spins and Demelin has to break and stop and go round Davis but I'm afraid that was just literally unavoidable contact really Davis trying to rejoin and Demelin very wide taking the racing line so a uh, bit of a shame for them too is yes but Tauborg following David Yunt and Talbot spins on the exit of the chicane he's just about going to get away with that one but Chris Butcher gets through and Wayne Morgan as well and Matuszewski look like they're going to have a run Talbot still has the position so it's going to be about uh, whether they've got a run on him into the final corner uh, Talbot breaks earlier than, uh, than Matuszewski and Wayne Morgan trying to make the break later as well on the day and uh, Matuszewski will have the better run he's going to be in behind Jesper Talbot as we go on board with uh, Matuszewski 
as they head towards turn one, drafting the uh, the Audi of Jesper Talborg, and he's going on the outside, and uh, Wayne Morgan is sniffing around in the background as well, and uh, Talborg very late on the brakes, he's got a twitch, and Matuszewski sneaks up the inside, and there's Morgan in behind Talborg as well, so Matuszewski takes away the position from Talborg, so Talborg loses two positions in two corners there, uh, just because of that simple half spin on the exit of the chicane. Here's uh, Rasmus Sala chasing down Florian Strauss. Strauss sweeps around the final corner. Contact between the two. Salo looked for a gap that really wasn't there and uh, gave gave the German a tap. Shame for them. And uh, Strauss drops through the field as a result. Here's James Johnson and Jack Keithley. Uh, Johnson drafting Keithley. Keithley's got the lead and this is for the lead. And Johnson goes up the inside. He's had he's had the better run. He's had the slipstream. Breaks very late. It's, if he can make the corner, he's got this one done. And he does so. And uh, Keith, you're trying to cut him back, but there's no way through there. As you see, Chris Butcher with no front end on his Audi battling away with Ben Davis as uh, we now switch to Rasmus Salo and Wukash Demelin. And Wukash is being lapped by Salo. And there, there's contact between the two. And uh, obviously, a uh, bit of a miscommunication there. And it's huge damage for Wukash Demelin. That's not the first time I've said this, this, uh, this series. And he's going to have to pit to repair that rear wing. And uh, shame for him, but that was just a misunderstanding between the two. Is James Johnson and Jack Keithley. Johnson leads from Keithley, so Keithley's in second. And Johnson's got the power on too early, and he's going into a half spin exactly the same as uh, Jesper Talborg. And uh, Wayne Morgan, who is a lap down, is uh, going to move ahead of Johnson as well. So Keithley regains the lead. Here's Ilovanov and Ben Davis battling away over the final positions in the top ten. And Ilovanov is going round the outside of Davis, but Davis cuts in front of him so Ilvanov is going to have to slipstream Davis down this pit straight and into turn one if he wants to make a move and uh, Florian Strauss who's had one or two problems this race is in behind them in 10th place so he's looking for a way by and uh, he's going to cut back Ilvanov here Ilvanov mi missing the apex Davis gets into the wall as well hopefully not too much damage to his car but Ilvanov is on the outside as they head towards the final corner so Strauss looks like he's got this one done and he has so uh, as long as he's braked early enough which he has so Ilovana looking way past, but uh, Strauss got that one made. In fact, Strauss looks like he's got the quicker car at this stage as we head back on board with Strauss. And he's following Ben Davis. He's drafting him down the pit straight. Davis goes defensive, goes towards the inside, and Strauss is on the outside. So, it's, so Strauss will have to break later and turn in first or cut Davis back. It looks like he's uh, done the former and takes the position away from Ben Davis, who now has Ilovana for company once again. And uh, that's... Strauss moving up through the field very nicely after his uh, incidents earlier on. Lap 38 of 41, so only three laps left. And Davis and Ilvanov still battling away. Davis into the wall. Looks like he's got uh, either a front right wear issue or just chronic understeer in that Mercedes. And Ilvanov is going up the inside of the result. In fact, he sweeps in front of Davis and takes the position away as they head towards the final corner. Looks like Ilvanov's overdone it on the brakes, though, and Davis has got the better exit. And now the uh, draft down the pit straight. Here's Vernerson. And Demlin switching back to uh, 11th and 12th positions. Look at the damage to Demlin's uh, Audi. And Vernerson goes up the inside as Demlin breaks a little bit too late for the first corner. And he's got the outside. He's going to have to sweep in front of Demlin here. This could be nasty. He's going to turn in. Just avoids contact with Demlin. I can see that one coming from miles back and uh, just about avoids it as uh, Vernerson scrapes the wall. And Morgan even wider as well. They're really uh, pushing the limit with these barriers. Race one winner though is uh, Jack Keithley and he's been dominant all the way. James Johnson follows him through, but uh, there's going to be a battle further back. There are people who haven't completed the race. Keithley wins from Johnson, but here we go. Ben Davis and Ilvanov, they're still battling away over the final points paying positions. And uh, Davis is on the outside as they head towards turn one. And brakes very late indeed. Ilvanov also very late on the brakes. Everyone looking at the brakes and that's Chris Butcher as well, spinning around in front. So he's a lap down on these two. So not really battling with them. Davis goes up the inside into the, into the chicane. Ilovanos on the outside. He's still got the inside for the left-hander. Davis trying to turn that Mercedes. It just won't go. He hits the wall. Matuszewski hits the wall as well. So Davis is behind Ilovanov as they hit towards the final corner. And uh, Ilovanov defending from Davis. Davis goes up the inside looking for a way past. But there's no way through. Except Ilovanov's breaks a little bit too late. Davis trying to go up the inside. It looks like he's got an overlap. They side by side as they head down the pit straight. And uh, Ilovanov on the outside. Davis on the inside. There's still one lap to go for these two. Ilovanov on the outside. And he's going to have to go deeper on the brakes and turn in first. Davis 
In fact, Ilovanov looks like he's got better straight line speed. Breaks way too late for the corner. Davis has made it through. Ilovanov sweeps back in front. Matazevsky nearly, nearly loses control. But Davis still retaining that position. But he's got this uh, left-hander coming up. And it's it's obviously obvious that his car is struggling more than Ilovanov through the left-handers. And he's very slow. Look at his apex speed. Hits the wall. Ilovanov into the wall. Ilovanov now on the outside into the final corner. These two having a ding-dong battle. It's, it's, it's anyone's guess who's going to win. And Ilovanov's on the outside. Ben Davis locking his brakes. No contact so far. Davis. And there is contact now. Davis trying to uh, squeeze Ilovanov into the wall. That's Chris Butcher looking for a way through as well. Ilovanov on the outside. Ben Davis desperately trying to hold on. He's squeezing Ilovanov towards the tyre wall. Ilovanov's going to take it from Ben Davis across the line. And that's a great race between those two, a butcher spinning Davis across the line. Let's have a replay, see exactly how close it was. And Ilovanov wins by the smallest of margins from Davis. Oh, I need to get my breath back. So Jack Keithley won the race from James Johnson. Rasmus Sali was third, rounding out the podium. David Yunt in fourth. It's an excellent uh, result for him. Tomasz Mertesewski was in fifth. Jesper Tauborg in sixth. And Wayne Morgan seventh. With Florian Strauss, Nikola Ilovanov... And Ben Davis rounding out the top 10. Join us for race 2, where hopefully it won't be quite as uh, heart racing. I need to take a rest. Join us again.